Hello guys, Keto Phoenix here and welcome to another one of my videos. I know that summer is pretty much almost over at this point and I know I had promised you guys that I would do some uh, keto jams for you. We're gonna do that in this video before summer's over. <laughs> First off, you have to have your berry of choice. Normally I would pick strawberries, but they take a lot more prep because they, in order for it to not take a million years to cook down on the stove, you have to cut them up pretty small. But just know that you can use any berry and it's pretty much gonna be the same process. Um, I decided to do raspberries. So I've got raspberries here. I got um, these from um, our local Smiths. They have the most amazing produce there. Yeah, so I've got the raspberries. The recipe that I'm using calls also for chia seeds, which chia seeds have a lot of amazing um, health properties for you. So, and I said healthier. And now I'm coming at you guys with the last ingredient and that's some sugar-free maple syrup. <laughs> now I know that there's some people out there who are like, artificial sweeteners, warning, warning, warning. It's fine guys, it's fine. Chill, relax, breathe. The number one thing that I want my followers and the people who watch me to know and to understand is keto is subject for everybody and it's going to be different for everybody. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and dump all of these in my pan. Actually, I'm going to put on my apron first. So let's do that, shall we? Put my apron on because I'm kind of wearing a white shirt and I'm going to be messing with berries and berry juice. Also, I had to pull out my jars from storage. So they're over here and so I'm gonna have to wash those and uh, let them dry so I'm gonna do that while um, this thing is boiling because this is gonna take a while to boil. Okay so here's my pan. I have got 18 ounces of raspberries. I washed them all and so now I'm going to put them in the pan. Like it seems like a lot right now but it's once it's broken down and you know more caramelized and stuff like that it's gonna be a lot less. So now I'm just gonna mash these down a little bit using like a little spatula thing. I could have used something else like a potato smasher or something like that, but I'm doing this in a nonstick pan, so I didn't wanna scrape it up. So we're just gonna break this down a little bit just to make it easier, and then we're gonna stick it on the stove. I also forgot to add that um, make sure that the raspberries you use are the fresh ones and not the frozen ones. I uh, haven't tried the frozen ones, but I'm told that you get a, with the frozen ones, you get more of a syrupy consistency than an actual jam. So um, I'm going with what everybody, you know, has been instructing me to do. And I went with the fresh raspberries. Now let's go ahead and move it over here. I'm going to put it on the back burner and I'm going to put it on medium heat. And we're just gonna let, let this simmer for a while and we'll come back and check on it. It's been simmering for a little bit. Look at that. We still got a, a few chunks in here, so we gotta let it simmer some more, but it's starting to look mm, incredible. And the smell in the house right now, you guys, like I can't even describe the smell. I love canning and when we get a place of our own, my husband and, my, and I want to start our own little garden so that I can grow things that I can can myself, like do my own pickles. I even want to experiment with some keto sweet pickles and some keto sweet relish and, you know, all from stuff that I have made my, uh, that I've grown myself. Anyways, I'm just talking about random stuff while I'm sitting here doing berries. But yeah, it's starting to look good. I'm gonna let it simmer some more and I'm just gonna keep coming in and stirring it to kind of help make sure that it's breaking up and stuff until it gets to a jam type consistency. Okay, here's how the jam is looking. Oh my goodness, yum. So it's time to add in some ingredients. Okay, to the mixture, we are going to add one and a half tablespoons of chia seeds. And we're gonna mix that in really well. Tablespoon of lemon juice. Now I'm going to taste this because sometimes the berries are sweet enough on their own. Um, 
so I might like them just the way they are. All right, so I'm gonna taste test this and see if I like the sweetness the way it is, and if I don't, I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. It's really hot right now. It's really good, but I wanna add a little bit of maple syrup, so let's do that. Okay, recipe calls for one to two tablespoons of maple syrup, sugar-free maple syrup. I'm just gonna do one tablespoon right now, mix it in and see if I like that. And if not, I'll add another tablespoon. All right, so I had to let the um, raspberries cool all the way. So now it's nice and cool. And I'm trying to show you guys a good, the, the sun's being weird, sorry about that. So, but there it is. And so now, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna stick it in this jar. So let's do that. So it looks like the uh, 16 ounces of raspberries that I got was a perfect amount for one jar. So if you're wanting to make more than one jar of raspberries, then you're definitely gonna have to double or triple your recipe or quadruple it. I mean, it all depends on how many jars you're wanting of this jam. Um, you can put them in the freezer and freeze them for like, um, I think you have to put them in an airtight container, but you can freeze them up to six months. Um, this is definitely, a refrigerated type of jam and this can hang out in your fridge for about four weeks so this isn't a necessarily a canning jam right this is just a fresh let's use it now kind of jam if that makes sense so it looks like it didn't quite make a full jar so it could be too that I cooked it down too much I don't know, this is the first time I have experimented with this. I mean, I've done canning before with my mother-in-law, but that was like a long time ago and I don't really remember it very well. But this is how much I got out of um, 16 ounces of raspberries. But look at that consistency. Mmm, that looks so good. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to make a different flavor um, berry. But again, like I said, the concept's pretty much gonna be the same. Uh, you just change which one you're doing. And like I said, if you do the strawberries, I would cut them up small so that they um, cook faster. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my videos. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.